right, so this is the other side of that, of the same conversation. Um, and it's always important to be balanced, to become part of the even ways, people that are even. And you know, the great pharaohs in Egypt, if their soul wasn't as light as a feather when they weighed everything out about their life, they wouldn't be able to go. It is so important to have a light, unharmful spirit inside you. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get to the evenlies and to be whole. So, um, smiling. You know, when you smile, you throw blood up inside you. The more blood you can throw in and around in your body, the better off your body's going to be. The scripture says that life is in the blood. And it's so true. And that life is your thoughts. Your controlled thought. So if you can control your thought and think of love and let that be projected. And then last night, actually, God gave me a chance to uh, have a dinner with an analytically uh, inspired and the best analyzers are Virgos. He was 27-year-old Virgo. It was great. <laughs> And uh, we had a great conversation. And, and you know, he, he was open to hearing that maybe there are some things that were left off of what we call our religion today. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't believe in a, a creature named Jesus. If that makes you feel good, that's your placebo effect. But the truth is, his name was Yes Us. Yeshua, it was yes, us. It's Jesus with a Y. Why? Because it means us. Where Jesus does not say us. Yes, us does. Yes, us means us. And that's really the key, you know, for you to understand that um, the gift that, uh, that the Christ gave us was trying to get us to understand wholeness, trying to get us to understand love. First of all, you understand love. Most important thing, love. Be whole of love. And with love, your whole body starts to feel love. So you can think any thought you want. Be careful of those thoughts. You know, the Catholic faith, for those out there that are Catholics, they have the seven deadly sins. You ever hear of that? Well, the seven deadly sins, if you look at them, um, are thoughts. They're thoughts. These are the seven deadly thoughts that will destroy you or others. And the last one, of course, is gluttony. But really, that's mispronounced, just like righteousness is mispronounced. That's right, useness. Gluttony is gluttony. And they had a problem with gluten back then. And the more you can stay away from gluten, the more your body can process um, all the chemicals that it needs to process to be whole and happy. Um, gluten is kind of like a... Gluten is really like a glue. That clogs you up. So when you mammalize, you help loosen up some of that gluten in your face, in your neck, your back, everywhere. And you help it get out. You help shake it out. So I hope you get a little something off of this one. Hey, I am uh, John Paul Elliott. If you haven't subscribed already, Thank you for very much for uh, for subscribing right now, and uh, we got a lot more to train. 
you know, my church is called the Church of Stuff, which is an acronym which actually stands for Scientific Training or Teaching of Universal Healing Fundamentals. How do we heal ourselves? How do we still stay well? How do we get to 120 years of age, which is what we're promised by God? Look at a little cocoa right there, guys, huh? Look at my cocoa. Oh, cocoa. That's what we're promised. And Coco and I, I think our job is to try and get you to realize how, how true that is and to do it. So if you're not liking what you look like and you don't want to buy into uh, the pharmaceutical meds and, uh, you know, all their, their whole thing, hey, do your own research, analyze it yourself and realize that it makes total sense to shake your body and love yourself and use your thoughts to regenerate yourself. Amen? Be love. Then love will be you. All right, thanks again for listening. Hey, subscribe. Thanks.